hello friends so after adding morpher in the previous tutorial it is time now to adjust biped for skinning of the character for that we will create a biped from the create tab and we will create it in the left view and we will drag the biped to the height of the character Now we will go into the motion tab and make sure that the biped is in figure mode as you will not be able to adjust it otherwise. So now uh, we will come to the front view and select the body horizontal and make sure that the bip is somewhere in the middle of the character. From the side view also we will bring the bip in the center of the mesh. So now time to adjust the legs. I am just adjusting the green side. After adjusting it we will open the copy paste pose tab click on the create collection and select all the green bones and now I'll copy the pose and paste it to the blue bones on the opposite side coming to the spine we'll adjust it in the side view seems fine now now we will adjust the upper limbs which is best done in the top view as you can see it requires some scaling so we will do that after you are done double click the clavicle to select basically all the blue bones and again go into the copy paste pose tab copy the blue bones and paste them on the opposite green bones now coming to the neck I prefer to have two neck links so I will open the biped skeleton and create two neck links and I'll scale them to fit now I require some changes in the default default biped setup first uh, we'll need some more more fingers in the hand so we'll make five fingers which will include one thumb and we'll also increase the finger lengths to three and we will be adjusting the fingers as well but before that I would like to talk about twist links so the thing about twist links is that normally the forearm bones are two and when you rotate the wrist these two bones they twist on each other but the biped has only one forearm bone and if you twist the wrist the mesh around the wrist will deform in not a very good way so in order to create the same twist effect as in real life we need to put twist links in the forearm bone we'll require two twists in the forearm and two twists in the calf bone and although we can put twist in the thigh and upper arm also for more realistic effect and I have tried that and I have not really found them very helpful one more thing although the mouth open can be done by a morph target but I have found that skinning a jawbone to open the mouth seems much more realistic so we will create a jawbone by the ponytail link in the biped although the purpose of the bone was to create a ponytail 
but we'll create a chin bone from it and it works like a charm so what we do is we create two ponytail links I think we'll just hide the head for some time then in the side view we will shift the ponytail to the area of chin bone so we'll make sure that we bring the chin bone somewhere near the joint where the jaw bone is attached to the skull the other ponytail, ponytail link is just to see where the chin bone is so we don't really need it that big so we'll just scale it down so now it's time to adjust the fingers and thumb see idly uh, this adjusting should be done in other views views other than the perspective view but since i've been doing it for a long time now i prefer adjusting them in the perspective view it's i find it easier so the idea is to cover the finger bones in the mash and align the joints where they are supposed to be in the mash So after you are done adjusting the fingers we will double click the clavicle bone to select all the arm bones and as before we will copy this pose and paste it on the opposite side of the bones and there you go our character is ready for skinning which i'll cover in next tutorial and i hope to see you there so that's a bye for now